Hello, welcome to the new chapter of this podcast, Barcelona Guide, a podcast created to help you on your visit to Barcelona. I am Jose Gómez, the founder of Looking Barcelona, a company who provide tours to discover the city. And today we will talk about tapas. So if you want to eat as a local in Barcelona, of course you have to taste our tapas. In my food and tapas tour in Barcelona, I show you some of my of the most typical tapas and my recommendations for the best bars and restaurants for tapas in Barcelona. What but what are tapas? What tapas is an appetizer or a snack that we eat cold or hot. The word tapa is a lid or cover. The origin of the, of the tapa comes from 17th century. At that time There were many flies and many bars, there still are. And to prevent a fly from landing on your wine or beer, a clever tower owner decided to cover all his customers' glasses with a slice of bread. So from this idea came the practice of placing a bread or cheese or ham on a small plate on the glass. So... Let me explain to you some of my of the most tasty tapas you will find in almost all restaurants and bars in Barcelona. Tapas, tapas are a very important part of Spanish gastronomy. My, we Spanish people love to eat tapas. You might have noticed it is a good way to spend a pleasant time with friends or family. It is a very popular sport here in Spain and it is very easy, no need to train. The name is Ir de Tapas and the translation is going eating tapas. So we usually take tapas at the weekend. We meet at 1 p.m. and we go from bar to bar having a drink and eating a tapa. We usually finish about 3 p.m. when everyone goes home for lunch And maybe a siesta, a siesta is a lie down. Now, let me explain to you my favorite tapas. All these tapas, you can find them in almost all bars in Barcelona. They are very popular. The first one, patatas bravas. They are potatoes cut into cubes and fried. It comes with a spicy sauce called salsa brava. It can also come with ali oli. What is ali oli? It's a garlicky mayonnaise sauce. Another tapa, croquetas. They can be round or oval shapes. They are prepared with a bechamel sauce and coated with flour, egg and breadcrumbs fried in oil. They can be croquetas de jamón. Jamón is ham. Croque croquetas de bacalao. Bacalao is cooked. Croquetas de pollo. Pollo is chicken or croquetas de espinacas. Espinacas is spinach. Another one, another tapa, ensaladilla rusa. It is a cut salad of potatoes, peas, carrots, boiled eggs, tuna or chicken, olives, capers or pickles and mixed with mayonnaise. Another one, calamares a la romana. I love calamares a la romana. They are fried squid Cut into a ring, butter in flour and fried in very hot oil. Can come with mayonnaise or lemon. Another one, chipirones fritos. They are small fried squid. They are coated with flour. They are very crispy and tender. A la plancha. If you, if you uh, see a la plancha in English, means that it's fried on a pan in a small amount of oil. Gambas al ajillo. This is another one. Ajillo means garlic. The garlic is cooked in very small pieces. So gamba is shrimp. So I am going to explain you how to do gambas al ajillo. Add olive oil in your fried pan, add garlic, and then browns. And four minutes, you have gambas al ajillo. They are usually served in small clay pots. I love to add a small guinguilla. Guinguilla is chili pepper. And very nice with a glass of white wine. Another one is huevos rotos or estrellados. 
rotos, means broken. Estrellado means to crash, to smash. So, it is the egg smashed onto the ham and potatoes. They are fried eggs with a runny yolk, served on fried potatoes and ham. Another tapas, this is one of my favorite ones, pulpo a la gallega. So, it is an octopus boil and cut into small pieces and placed on a bed of boiled potatoes on the plate. The potatoes are cooked in the same water as the octopus. It is served with pimenton and extra virgin olive oil. But what is pimenton? Pimenton is a spice, a very popular spice here in Spain. The translation in Spanish is a little bit as paprika. It's not the same, but very similar. It's paprika. Pimenton is one of the most important ingredients in Spanish cooking. It is red. It is used in everything from chorizo sauce and lomo to pulpo. And sometimes they spring on top of some soups and even fried eggs. We get pimenton from dried bell pepper ground into powder. Pimenton, pimenton is so appreciated in Spain. There are denomin denominations of origins D.O. for pimenton. The, the letters D.O. associated with a food or drink means that it comes from a proof area. Another tapa, queso manchego. Some of you, you know, because in America, there are a lot of um, queso manchego, manchego cheese. So it is the most consumed cheese in Spain. It comes from the milk of sheep of a region of Spain called La Mancha. The same region of Don Quixote de la Mancha by Miguel de Cervantes. It is a natural and historical region, the largest plain in Spain, located in central Spain, south of Madrid, very arid or dry but fertile, which produced this bread of sheep totally adapted to the climate. So manchego cheese is present in round shape and the color is yellowish. It has different degrees of tuning. A typical dessert of is cheese with grapes. A popular saying says, grapes, grapes with cheese taste like kisses. And now another tapa, pimientos del piquillo. They are small red peppers, around 7 centimeters long. They are from Piquillo de Lodoso, a small village in northern Spain. The region is called Navarra. So they are protected by a denomination of origin as well. They can, so we can find them in the supermarket, cook and package in a can or in a jar. They can be eaten on their own or relleno. Relleno is stuffed with fish or meat. Another tapa, boquerones en vinagre. They are anchovies marinated in vinegar and olive oil and seasoned with garlic and parsley. They don't go with wine. It's beer with is better with a beer, of course. So anchoas are anchovies cured in salt in salt. You can find also uh, anchoas that that means that are similar and boquerones but cured with salt. Personally, I love anchovies in vinegar in a sandwich with a green guinguilla. Guinguilla is a spicy pepper and, of course, a cold beer. I would like to talk to you about almonds. They are our most popular nut. Spain is the world's second largest producer after the United, United States. Almonds are present in many of our recipes especially in desserts. There are many health benefits from eating almonds, like cholesterol reductions and as an antioxidant. So here are two ways to prepare them. So the first one is salted almonds. What I do at home is put them in a pan with olive oil for a few minutes and then add salt. I like to sit on my terrace and sip a beer or glass of wine with a bowl of almonds beside me. They are a good appetizer. 
So you can find also caramel, caramelized almonds. So in Spanish are almendras garrapiñadas. So you can f prepare to prepare them. So into a pan, I put the raw almonds with the skins and a glass of water and also a glass of sugar. Let it boil gently for 15-20 minutes until the water evaporates. They can they they come out covered by a delicious layer of caramel. So uh, another very typical tapas are olives. So I love olives. In Spanish, they are known as olivas aliñadas. So that means mixed with herbs or other products to give them more flavor. In Spain, there are thousands of ways to dress the olives with aromatic herbs, with garlic, orange, oil, vinegar, spices. I remember my uncle, he used to prepare them in Andalusia. Andalusia is a region in the south of Spain. So they prepare, so he prepared them with some orange skin and they were delicious. For example, here are accompanied, you can find uh, accompanied by lemon peel, oregano, oil, cayenne pepper. So there are thousands of the way to prepare them. So, so they are some of my favorite tapas. All of them are very interesting and tasty. So I wait for you in the next chapter of this podcast, Barcelona Guide. I leave you in the notes my email. I will be very happy if you write me. Tell me something, what you like that I talk about, or if you have visited Barcelona, tell me what was your favorite places in the city and, and so on. So bye and don't forget to be happy.